So one step further that we can take project acoustics is by creating an early reflection system. So as I showed you before, it kind of changes reverbs and it does occlusion extremely well, but um, there's no early reflection. So we don't get to feel that environment. So the way I kind of took it a step further um, was using this node that Project Acoustics gives us and it is query distance in look direction. And what that does is um, uses these kind of voxels, the geometry, and we can say, right, look over there. How far is that geometry from where we're standing? And by doubling the distance, because it's got to go there and back, we can then calculate the time it takes for the sound to go backwards and forwards back to our player. And um, with this, as I rotate the player, I also kind of get the angle from what the sound is being reflected. And we can kind of get that more, I don't know, feel of the environment, uh, which is driving a tap delay. So right now, it's kind of set to a more realistic speed of sound for the first demonstration. But as we move through the environment, the early reflections should change. I've uh, turned off the reverb so you hear it a bit more clearly. Um, it might be a bit distorted coming through OBS, but um, let's have a little listen. So in the open, so you hear that, prrr, it's not just one shot because we've got all these buildings. Now, as we walk around, you can hear those reflections, oh, just go, poof, get louder. Okay, so this is a good example we're out here. When we go into this space, we're gonna have reflections everywhere. So all of a sudden the noise is gonna get louder and you kind of get a tone because you've got these really small tap delays, which is gonna give you a nice kind of frequency and or a frequency kind of shift because of the quick tap delays and going through the tunnel, the increase of sound is gonna go mad. It's like shooting a gun off in a room, it's gonna deafen you, so. Which sounds pretty good. Um, and um, so yeah, so the tap delay is changing with um, every look up distance that we use. So if I just come out of here, and because I want to show you, you know, that the tap delay is actually working. Um, I'm just going to scroll down back to the blueprint. Um, this is blueprint, and I am going to change the speed of sound. Speed of sound. Speed of sound. Okay, and I'm going to put it to normal. Or I'm, I'm going to times it by 10, sorry. Um, so now as we walk around the space, you're going to hear this a bit more of a rhythm because I've slowed down the time. But um, you'll be able to hear it a lot clearer now. So, And there are the echoes. You could hear the echoes from the left coming off this building over here. Um, if I come to the right here, the left wall, you should hear a really big, a really quick one on the left earbud okay um, because we're and now as we walk around it kind of gets more even so again if we were to get back to this wall and we turn now we should come through the right ear the first reflection okay um, as, we, as we go into different spaces um, okay come on now the rhythms change that tap delays and we come into maybe this one. So we're getting all the instant reflections in here and we're kind of getting those kind of, you know, tap delay, those um, kind of really far away reflections from outside of the building, which is, you know, really cool. So you can kind of hear it reflecting back because we've slowed down the sound. So that's just one way that um, I thought I'd have a go at improving project acoustics. Um, I thought that was useful. I hope you enjoy it and um, I will see you in the next one. Tell me out.